Uh. All right. Let's turn this down. Let's tab over. Let's get ready. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to change it from RE2 to RE3 in the capture window. Let's have a look. Is that working? Yeah. Oh, no, hang on. It is it is broken again. No, I did not want to bring up the Steam overlay there. Nope. Piss off. Get me off the RE net, please. Yes. All right. I might have to change this around. Hang on. Settings. Stream. Output. Video. Canvas. What the fuck do you mean I can't put it in 1440p? What the fuck is wrong with Streamlabs OBS? Why is this thing so shit all of a sudden? Okay, that was weird. Hopefully it doesn't do it again. Right, let's turn the music off. Jump back into the game. Is that, is that working? Okay, yeah, that seems like everything's working. Alright, we wrapped RE2 yesterday. Um, and I said I wasn't... Wasn't going to be doing Claire or any of the B campaigns because I don't, I don't fucking like them. So that's, that's all there is to say about that. And this time, now we're going to be doing RE3. Hopefully I might be able to finish this in one sitting since it is like, I don't know, listed to be, what, two and a half hours long? So let's have a look. Hardcore, Nightmare, Inferno, uh... I'll go with standard. I'm not in the mood to, like, rage bait games that I'm not really all that good at playing. I haven't played this one for years. I think the last time before I booted it up today, it said was June 2022. So nearly two years since I last touched this game. Yeah. Dr. Matt Gorkis. <clears throat> it's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. There he is, good old Nemi Chan getting put together. Hello there, Nowfall. Welcome. We're, we're doing RE3 today. I love how they have just written on it, like, cartridge for bioweapon. Straight to the point. You love to see it. Still hope Capcom will add content for this game. It's been, what, four years? Four years and it didn't get any DLC, didn't get any post-update content. I think the most it got was costumes, but I might be misremembering that. This one's done and dusted. They're, they're, they're never touching this thing again. Uh, what's my favorite Resident Evil game? Um, first one is RE4. Second one is RE4 Remake. And then third one's RE5. And then after that, the fourth one's RE2 Original. I remember when they showed, like, this little walk-around gameplay off, people were getting really, really worried that, uh... This was gonna be, like, a first-person game. Like, it was like it was gonna be Seven, or it was gonna be Village. What the fuck is going on with... That is... Why is it, like... 
I'm holding the control stick sideways and it's making the camera go in like three different directions. Yeah, Remake 2 is alright. It's just I like the original more. Hi, Jill. Premonition of getting infected with the T-Virus. <laughs> Playing it on standard at the moment. Oh, I haven't played this game in a while and don't remember how particularly, like, difficult, hardcore and above was. I always play the, the survival horror games on normal, because putting them on the harder difficulty just makes them difficult in ways I don't really like. I always play through RE4 on professional, though. Like, original RE4, RE4 Remake. I always keep them on their harder difficulties. Gets worse every night. I cannot find a way to get my fucking controller wire to stop curling over my keyboard. Hang on. Right, let's do a little bit of in investigating. Let's see, do I recognize anyone? Who the fuck is that? Oh, these will be, what, the missing persons up in the Arclay Mountains? Where's Jill's letter of resignation? Supposed to have that somewhere, isn't she? I think I have beaten this game on Nightmare before, back when I played- Because I played this one for like 40-something hours. Like, I sweat the shit out of the RE3 remake when it first came out. What am I supposed to be doing in here? Oh yeah, I'm going to look for the thing. I beat it on Nightmare. I didn't go up to Inferno mode, because everyone and their grandmother told me Inferno mode was like the hardest difficulty the Resident Evil series has ever had. Thoughts about Villager RE7, would you want another game more like this or something like this? Uh, Village and RE7 are alright. Uh, I don't think they're bad games, but they don't rank particularly high on, on my list. I think they're both like solid C-tier RE games. I much preferred the, uh, the third-person games. I, I just like third-person games more than first-person. I like survival horror, but I'm definitely much more of an action horror guy. Uh, I, I vastly preferred Villages much more. A uh, gun, guns blazing approach to gameplay, then Villa 7's much more okay? slow paced survival horror right aspect there. to it. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. Alright, let me grab my. And now we get into like one of the. F some of the stupidest shit the RE3 remake does, man. Like. I like the story in this game. Like, I really, really do. I like the writing, like the characters. I think it's probably one of the better written Resident Evil games. But the thing that I hate about it is how many times Nemesis, whose job is to kill Jill Valentine as quick as possible, how many times he gets hold of her and then will just throw her away to let her escape instead of just grabbing her and crushing her skull like he's supposed to. It's so fucking dumb. Uh, honestly, I've always been in, like, the, the, what, what's the word for it, the minority, the way more controversial stand for it. I don't like original Resident Evil 3 at all. I think of the original trilogy, it's by far my least favorite of the three. It's the only one of the original trilogy I outright don't like. And I like the remake way more. Um, personally, I, I like what it does more than what original 3 attempted to do. I would have liked to see them add and keep in a lot more of the stuff from uh, RE3. Like, if you're going to remake the game, don't, like, gut 70% of what was from the original. But comparing products to products, I, I like the RE3 remake way more than I like original RE3. I think a lot of uh, the problems with the Resident Evil remakes is they're very, very much 
sort of give and take with the the original version of them. I don't think there's a single Resident Evil remake, except for the first one, but I'm talking like the modern batch of 2019 and onwards. I don't think there's a single Resident Evil game remake that is out and out just better in every way than the original, that it just replaces the original, like RE1 remake did, or... Uh, Dead Space remake did where like those remakes were so good There's just no reason to play the originals because the remakes do basically everything better with RE2, RE3 and RE4 It's like well this thing was better in the original version of the game But they did this better in the remake, but this was worse than the remake and they did this better in the original So it's it's a bit of a, a complicated thing it, I haven't played an RE remake besides the first one. that's just out and out better than the original haven't had a shot for a remake. What would you rate it out of 10? Uh, kind of a complicated thing. I don't tend to rate stuff out of 10 because I think it's like a really, really... What's the word I'm looking for? Narrow viewpoint. There's not a lot of nuance in a, in a 10 rating. But I think the RE4 remake is the best remake. And I think it is the second best game in the series behind the original Resident Evil 4. It's really, really good. It was my game of the year last year. Like, I think I've played it for over 100 and... 160 hours at this point. Absolutely phenomenal game. I've seen people be able to investigate this. Can you only investigate this on New Game Plus? Have a lot of, oh yeah, RE4 I would say is easily the most replayable game uh, in the series next to 5 and Original 4. It brings in, like, the completion point system from this game that Village had as well. So you can buy weapons and items and cosmetics that you can unlock. It's got, what, I think four difficulty modes in it. It's got a bunch of challenge runs. It mixes up the completion stuff of this game, like, kill X number of enemies, complete X number of objectives. But it's also got the speed running stuff from original RE4 as well, to where you have to complete it as quick as possible. It's got the mercenaries mode, it's got separate ways that comes with its own completion shop and own uh, bonuses and unlocks. I think for $60, $50, however much you pay for it, like $35.99, whatever it is now, it is one of the most like content-rich like third-person action shooters I've ever played in my life. I think I still like original RE4 more than, than Remake 4. Uh, the big thing for it is I like original RE4's much more arcade uh, sort of gameplay style to it than 4's attempt at bridging, 4 Remake's attempt at bridging the gap between arcade action and, and horror. It's stuff like... Uh, I like how Leon's a lot faster and a lot more mobile in the original game compared to the much weightier version of him they have in RE4. Being able to consistently stun enemies with a single headshot in original RE4 versus it taking anywhere between like three to five headshots to stun enemies in the remake. They try to like make it more like RE2, uh, adding in stuff like the shrinking reticle system and the, the damage guns do being lesser if the reticle isn't closed. I didn't like those additions and I don't think they added anything to RE4 that I was personally invested in. I think they kind of just made RE4 slightly worse. It's still a really, really good game though. I'd, I'd say it's easily the best of the remakes and it's easily my favorite of the remakes so far. The big one I'm excited for next is, without a doubt, um... RE, RE5 remake, that's the one that I'm so, so goddamn ready for. I'm trying to remember, uh, use the, the bait strats, because there's going to be, yeah, these guys. Yeah. Five remake. I'm so ready for fives. For, for ever since I played our original RE5, it's it's my second favorite game in the series behind RE RE4 original. Um, RE4 remake knocked it down to number three because I think RE4 remake is better than RE5. But RE5, oh dude, I fucking love that game. 
one of my favourite games of all time. It's my favourite co-op game ever made. I've played that for, like, nearly 120 hours at this point. Fucking... And Mercenaries mode in RE4 Remake was, like... That's built like how RE5 plays, and Mercenary mode in, in RE4 Remake is so good, I know they're gonna absolutely nail RE5. Alright, it's carjacking time. Let's go, baby. Yeah, Nemesis, you wanna wanna pick up the pace a little bit, buddy? Go a little bit go a little bit faster. Guess we'll see, hopefully. Just hope it don't flop. Uh, flop in terms of like critical reception or like gameplay quality. Cause I don't think these RE games could bomb commercially if they tried. Yeah, Jill surviving that with, like, small scratches and relatively unharmed means she's probably stronger than Nemesis. This opening's an absolute fucking mess for, like, plot armor and, and plot convenience, man. It's so bad. It's a hard as fuck introduction for Nemesis' face, though. I just wish it wasn't as dumb as it was. RE movies, I think they're all terrible. I've never watched a single Resident Evil movie, live action or CGI, that, I've, I've, that hasn't made me want to shoot myself. I have never understood this bit with Carlos here, because, like, Nemesis effortlessly catches the rocket and, like, throws it away. And then he just does the same thing again, like, fires it, and Nemesis just doesn't block it that time. It's so weird, dude. Like, this opening is a fucking nightmare. I was gonna say, thankfully, the rest of the game isn't anywhere near as, like, badly written and plot armory as this is. We've been bringing survivors here. Here and where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. I will say uh, one thing that I do love about this game is Carlos. Carlos is... Bro, he went from being, like, the worst Resident Evil character next to, like, Steve Burns or whatever the fuck that wanker's name from Code Veronica was. He became, like, my favorite supporting cast member in the series after the RE3 remake. They do such a good job with his character. Yeah, the aiming's all weird. They also got the voice actor that plays Carlos in this game to do Chris in, in Village. And I think he's a much better Carlos than he is Chris. Um, I don't know, I just want him to bring Roger Craig Smith back, man. He's just the best Chris Redfield. Is, it, is this dude's name Eli? I can't remember what the fuck this guy's called. She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. It's Mikhail, that's his name, yeah. I am UBCS, Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. <laughs> My Bro out here doing his own goddamn stand-up comedy routine. Keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, 
Hello, Diamond. Welcome to the stream. We're doing RE3 today. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need yeah, I'd, I've, I've said that before numerous times. I think this game's like a horrible remake in terms of like trying to recreate the original, but I think as a standalone Resident Evil game, it's one of the better ones in the series. Like, I remember seeing somebody do a video years ago on, like, RE2 that was called, like, Great Game, a uh, Wasted Remake, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, that's exactly how I feel about Resident Evil 3 Remake. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Final ball a bit too funny, huh? Because Jill Valentine's just fucking built different, right? My theory is they gave her, like, the ability to deadlift the fucking... A uh, uh, rail cannon thing is sort of like a counterpoint to Chris being able to punch boulders to try and like power creep Jill to make her more relevant for the rest of the timeline. It's like, oh yeah, Leon can spin kick people off buildings, Chris can punch boulders, and Jill can lift up like 3,000 ton fucking rail cannons. Why? Because she's cool. That's why. Let's do this fast. Also, I think I, it's another smaller thing. They have mostly the exact same inventory as uh, RE2 Remake, but I will admit I do like the, uh, the, the UI of RE3 more than RE2. I like the blue. It's a very, very small thing, but I think it looks nice. Oh, for fuck's sakes. What's the quick turnaround? Okay, it's the same as it was in RE2. I pressed it for a second there and it didn't it didn't work. Oh yeah, should I I guess I'll cheat and pick up my extra hit pouches. I have these left over from the um Oh fuck yeah, no dude, I forgot I had so much shit unlocked from <laughs> I'm not gonna use any of these. Uh never never gonna fucking I'm not gonna touch these. These aren't these aren't what I'm here for. I will wait until I get them when I'm supposed to get them in the game. Oh, maybe. Should I take the Samurai Edge? Ah. Oh. It's a cheese weapon, but I really, really fucking like it. And I am playing the game. But yeah, I'll take the Samurai Edge. Why not? I love the Samurai Edge. It's one of my favorite handguns in, in gaming. All right, I'm going to ignore the defense coins and everything because they're all like cheeky cheese weapons. And I'm not going to cheeky cheese anything while I'm here. Another thing that I really, really liked about this game was that they brought back the knife as, like, a permanent equipable weapon and made grab escapes, like, a quick time event. It's a small thing, but I never liked in RE2 Remake how they made the knife a breakable sub-weapon. And I fucking hated how they made it like that in the RE4 Remake. Like, dude. Oh. So I never actually beat RE3 and make run out of ammo playing hard mode. I think I did standard on my first playthrough and then... Oh, damn. Bro, I forgot how much fucking punchier, like, the sound design and damage noises were in this game. There's some bullets on... Yeah, yeah, yeah right here. Reload. Ooh. Ooh. Can have the best sound design in the fucking world and it ain't gonna change the fact that I'm dog shit with aiming. I always liked they made the knife like the way that it was supposed to be, like it was in the older games where you can use it as like a a, a method of, of hitting downed enemies to conserve ammo without having to worry about it breaking. I do kind of wish they'd kept it as, like, the RE4, press it with the... Like, you could... I'm, I'm trying to use the RE4 thing to bring it out as a sub-weapon, but it's not a sub-weapon. It's a qu an equipable item. At least with RE4, it's justified with how versatile and broken it could be when you just learned how to use it. 
At least with RE4, it's justified with how versatile and broken it could be. Yeah, but you could say the same thing about the uh, the knife in original RE4, and that thing was still uh, unbreakable. I don't know, it always just felt like a, an attempt to... Why isn't the quick turnaround working? What the hell? Oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. You press back and then B, not both of them at the same time. Okay, that's that's weird. Yeah, no, in like original RE4, if you got good enough at the game, you could use the knife to like knock um projectiles out of the air. Like I've accidentally done it when I've been shot with a crossbow in original RE4. I don't think I ever managed to pull it off in the remake because the hitboxes for projectiles in the remake are way smaller than they were in OG RE4. But yeah, the, the knife was cracked in original Resident Evil 4. You could use it to kill Krauser in his final boss in like... <laughs> like 35 seconds because for whatever reason the knife would just stun lock him. I think they removed that in the remake though. <sighs> Alright. But yeah, no, like RE4 was as, as action heavy and, and crazy as it was and, and I've never liked the decision they made to make it like, try to make it more survival horror. Like, I don't play RE4 for survival mechanics. I play it to be like a, a whirling dance of death that's capable of destroying everything at a moment's notice. Come on, boys. There we go. This was another thing I liked about uh, the RE3 remake, um, is they brought back, like, the stun generators and shit from the original and, like, the explosive barrels so you could properly crowd control more effectively. Yeah. It's like, I know people don't like this one because it's uh, an action game, but, like, I really, really like this one because I think it's a fucking phenomenal action game. <laughs> Oh, wait, no, there's a... Uh... I have to get used to using the, the adjusted quick turnaround. That should be gunpowder. Yep, yep. RE games in Raccoon City. Man, I would kill to play, like, an RE4 style game in Raccoon City. I think that would be cool as hell. They kind of tried to do something similar to it with Operation Raccoon City, but that one was... That one was kind of poo, not gonna lie. Alright. Yeah, gunpowder. Let's save real quick. Christ, my last save file on this game was 2021. I haven't played this for over three years. I guess maybe the last time I booted it up, I didn't actually play it and just booted it up for whatever reason. So, RE4 Remake is more so- Oh, no, definitely, it is more action than survival horror, but they add in a lot more of uh, survival horror elements into it than what the original had. I mentioned this earlier in the stream, it was stuff like, it has, like, the shrinking reticle system in it from RE2 and 3 Remake, where it makes it so that if you shoot an enemy without the reticle being closed fully, your gun will deal less damage and less stagger. That's sort of a, mo a method to try and slow the game down and make it more, like, methodical and tactical, as opposed to original RE4, where your gun was always max accuracy and max damage, uh, regardless of whether or not you waited for it to close, because uh, it was all reticles. Uh, they made having a laser sight a uh, uh, quote-unquote more tactical choice, where not all the guns could have them, which wasn't a thing that RE4 did. They made enemies stagger way less consistently than they did. In the original Resident Evil 4, a headshot with basically any weapon will instantly stagger an enemy, whereas in the remake, it makes it so that it can take anywhere from a three to five headshots on average, meaning that the, like, quick-draw headshot system from RE4, where you would interrupt enemy attacks, wasn't really an option, so you had to be a lot more cautious with approaching enemies because you didn't have access to the one-shot stun abilities you did in the original. It was stuff like they removed iframes from specific animations that Leon would perform. The big ones were whenever you jump out of windows or jump down from um, uh, higher elevations. In the original game, Leon would get iframes where if enemies swung at him or tried to hit him or tried to grab him, they would go straight through him. Whereas in the remake, they don't have that. They You will get grabbed and you will get hit and you're not immune to damage. 
so it makes it so that you can't play like action man leon like you could in the remake where you really really have to be careful where you're going and where you're jumping uh leon's a lot heavier and a lot less responsive in um re4 remake than he is in re4 uh, original he, he's a much heavier slower character man you can tell i haven't played this game for a fucking long time i want half health already I also don't even think I know the code that's in here. Because there's a safe with a, a muzzle break in here. Drugstore owner. Those aqua cute. Yeah, yeah, because it's in the store across the street. But yeah, I definitely don't think they turned RE4 into a survival horror game. They just added a lot more of the survival horror mechanics from, like, Resident Evil 2 Remake into re4 and uh, personally i don't like them and I, I i much prefer the more action focused arcadey original resident evil 4 to the um survival horror adjacent re4 remake still think it's a phenomenal game though love love the re4 remake it was my game of the year for 2023 and it's my number two favorite resident evil game yeah i wasn't gonna trust that for a fucking second homeboy I like the barrels, man. The barrels are so cool. It's such a good way to, uh, like, preserve ammo in, in gameplay where you almost always have a method to kite and take uh, enemies without having to shoot them or waste resources. You can just spend, like, one bullet on, on blasting an enemy or blasting a barrel and take out, like, ten guys at once. Uh, you know, I'm gonna go the other way around. I don't trust myself to not get injured on the way down there. <coughs> Christ. Alright, yeah, admittedly the one thing I dislike in RE4 Remake was how much Leon... Yeah, he's way more pushoverable in, in RE4 Remake than he is in original. One thing I noticed on my first playthrough of RE4 Remake is that Leon actually now gets staggered by chickens whenever they jump up at him, which wasn't, wasn't a thing in the original. In the original game, ch chickens would jump and move around. Uh, and they would just go through Leon, whereas in, in the remake, they can attack him, and they will stagger him. Alright, there's, yeah, still an item in here. I'm gonna go back to the store. I am for survival horror. Yeah, I like survival horror as well. I just, I prefer action horror. I'm way more of an action head guy than I am a, uh, survival horror one. Ugh. <sighs> Wait for this guy to get up. Yeah. Make sure he's doubly dead. RE5 feels so different from 0, 1, 2, 3 in Code Veronica. Yep. Yeah, yeah, by design. Um, the series had been evolving from survival horror to action horror. Because unfortunately, with a lot of horror games and horror franchises, diminishing returns are quite, quite a problem you will run into. Where you have to change the pace and it's where the ancient saying that i came up a long time with is you either die a survival horror series or live long enough to see yourself become an action franchise so it's nine three seven nine three seven let's go back up there and get that break thing going on nine three seven Nine, three, seven. All right, there we go. All right, there we go. We have uh, the first attachment for the handgun. Combine with... Oh, right, yeah, the attachments only work for the G19. They don't fit on the... Uh... They don't fit on the, the Samurai Edge because it's all maxed out. Yeah, yeah. Five is better than the original RE4 in a lot of ways. Plus, Sheva wasn't that bad when you treated her like a walking storage. I found giving Sheva a sniper rifle and and not letting her stay on um, not letting her stay on uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Cover or stay on assault, keep her on cover and only put her on assault when she has the sniper rifle and she will become an absolute monster. RE5 is better than yeah. I think uh, when it comes to like scalping up which one's better, I think the combat 
in terms of like melee design, uh, melee pools, stagger states, all that sort of stuff is better in RE5. Like, like a good sequel should be. They improved on what worked about the original. But I think one of the big problems with RE4 is that it starts to struggle from just being like a rehash of, of RE4 in a lot of places, whilst also really, really badly trend chasing a lot of franchises like Call of Duty and Gears of War. And that's how you end up running into a lot of the really, really awful sequences, like the extended turrets, uh, turret sections out on the... Um, out on the savannah, the the turret boss fight against the Magini, the fucking cover shooter segments in in the third act when you go up against Magini that have like AKs and shit. Yeah, that's one of the major things that I'm I'm hopeful an RE5 remake fixes is to make it more in line with RE4 and the franchise's identity, but not have it be trend chasing other action franchises anywhere near as much as the original did right because nemesis shows up here in a minute doesn't he like you get to see him infect people and create a a not las plagas infected ganado trademark put that away 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 Actually, you know what? I will I will keep this on me because it. Do I have? Yeah, there we go. Actually, no. Do you know what? I'll take that out. Mix that green. No, no green. Double dosage on green. Full health. Save. Open grenade equipped. Yeah, because the grenades aren't sub weapons. Have I ever tried Echoes of the Living? I actually haven't heard of Echoes of the Living. What's that? Oh shit, the guy on the left was out of range. Wait, where's Nemesis? I thought he was supposed to show up at this point. I haven't accidentally installed the RE3 remake demo, have I? I could have sworn he was meant to spawn there and a attack. Oh no, maybe it's after you get like the shotgun and everything. I might be misremembering that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, I feel like RE5 will just copy what RE4 Remake did in terms of combat, but with a few things. Yeah, honestly, I think they're mostly just going to probably do RE4 again. Because there are certain segments in the RE4 Remake that play... Almost exactly like like RE5, where you hang out with Carlo, not Carlos, uh, Luis in the mines, and you get to do like AI co-op melee attacks with him, where he'll wait for you to do a melee attack, or he'll show up and, and, and urge you to do one, or you can get him to do one, yada, yada, yada. That, to me, was them so obviously like playtesting the, uh, the, the co-op tech. What the fuck was that? I just got like a random pop-up on my screen that dashboarded the game for a second there. Yeah, no, that segment in the mines with Luis was there. So obviously them testing the AI tech for RE5 before they had to use it fully. And I think they did a really, really good job with that. Uh, let's have a look. New RE game. It's a knockoff for sure, but decent. I meant demo of Echoes of Living. It's... Uh, is that what no, I've never heard of it. I might have to give it a shot. Is it on Steam? Or is it like a, an itch.io game? Itch.io game, I mean. Oh, I missed collectibles. Yeah, I knew there was a green herb in here that I I'd forgotten about. On Steam, I might have to give it a shot. Is it uh, what kind of RE game is it like? Is it like the the classic like PlayStation One games where it's all fixed camera angles and tank controls, or is it like a RE Four one? Hello there, Zez. D-Zez. Zez. D. 
I'm not too sure how to pronounce that. Okay, so there was one bit of a movement tech that I learned about the RE4 remake that I... Not RE4 remake, RE3 remake that I have attempted to utilize as effectively as possible. And it is the fact that if you dodge, you get a certain number of, like, dodge frames. But if you hold the gun and then dodge, you will get increased uh, frames for perfect dodging. I have no idea why that's the way that works, but... Uh... That is how it functions, and it's it's a pretty cool mechanic. Oof. Ow, my neck. Thanks, guys. Oh, I didn't realize he was going to do the double dodge, you son of a bitch. There's the adaptive difficulty at play. I've said this for ages. I, I really, really don't like how adaptive difficulty functions in the RE2 and 3 remakes. I think it's the worst uh, in version of it in the series. It just does stuff where it, instead of doing what it did in the original, where like the original, it it felt. Oh, sorry, in um RE4, which I think was the game that introduced it first. In RE4, the adaptive difficulty feels like well handled and well designed, whereas in the fucking oh in in the remakes, it just feels really really cheap and and it just it it screams like they're trying to make the game harder without actually making it harder. Because it does stuff like, in original RE4, it was things like, uh, ammo spawned less often, healing items spawned less often, and more enemies would appear in combat arenas. But then when you died, it would cause them to, like, despawn and drop more, and it was all based around how, uh, how often you healed, or how you died, or yada yada yada. But then, in the RE2 remake, it does stuff like... Crafting resources, like, makes enemies or gives you less uh, ammo when you craft using them. It makes your guns do less damage when you shoot them with enemies, depending on how high up the, uh, the adaptive difficulty is gone. It makes enemies have, like, no cooldowns between attacks. Like, we saw it a couple of minutes ago when they lunge and then lunge again immediately. It's super cheap, really, really unfair. I do not like it in the slightest, and I'm so happy the RE4 remake went back to having classic RE4's adaptive difficulty instead of the adaptive difficulty that's in these games. Oh, hello there, buddy. I'm getting very lucky with the critical headshots today. So, look, seems to be like the classic, seems to be no demo. Seen a streamer play it, not with a demo link. It says demo on store page. If you could get demo, it might be good for some views because lots of RE fans. Ah, I've tried applying for... It might be that thing where they give um, content creators that have big enough audiences keys to the game to get early access to it, to play it for... Uh, for some generation, but I'm a guy that's got like 2,500 subs who struggles to hit like 500 views on a video. I don't usually ever reply for these content creator things because I'm just not not big enough as a channel. I tried applying for the um. I could I qualified to get an early key for Res uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Because you needed to have, like, uh, the minimum was 500,000 total lifetime views on your channel. Which isn't really all that much in the grand scheme of things. And I think I have, like, five, five and a half, hundred thousand, maybe 600k views lifetime. But I, I applied, and then within, like, three days, I got a notification back that was like, Yeah, no, sorry. We, we, we hand-select our guys, and you don't qualify for it. So, better luck next time. Ugh. I should store some stuff while I'm here, actually. Just put away a few things I don't need at the moment. Oh, wait, no, hang on. I was wondering where I needed to use the... 
the bolt cutters for the last time, but I think it's over here. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Don't think it's limited. They mentioned some update thing, but I would apply to all anyway. You never know for big games. Eh, maybe. I'll give it a shot after the stream if I remember. Okay, yep. Don't, don't need that anymore. Discard. First aid spray. Nice. And I think this is... It's crafting. Yeah, yeah. Handgun ammo and everything in here. And then outside. What's the thing to unlock? I think this one needs the lock pick, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yo, bro, do you want to, like, stagger at any point ever? Yeah, homeboy, I'm not... I wonder if this game still has the same bug in it the RE2 remake does, where the knife does more damage the higher the frame rate is. I'm also going to thin out the zombies that are prowling around here real quick, because I know Nemesis likes to screw with them whenever he shows up. Like I mentioned, getting very, very lucky with the critical headshots today. Where is that? I think that should be everything. I can now go drop stuff off at the item box and then go through to the power station, which I think means I need to get through the... Yeah, I need to go near the hive with the, the drain demos in them. Actually, while I'm here, what I should do is open these up. Yeah, gemstones, gemstones. Oh, yeah, I forgot the game gives you bolt cutters. Let me discard those. I'm going to run back to the, the clock tower area. Not the clock tower, the uh, blah, 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 brain. Come on. Come on, brain. You know words. Use them. The train station area, because it has... I have two of the three things I need to access. Items that you get out of there, the upgrade things. A nice short jog back over here. Yeah. So the demo was open for all promo, but they took it down. Uh, I don't, I'm never a fan of when they do that. Like, if you've got a demo for your game, I really think you should leave it up, even if the final game is about to come out. I remember Signalis did that. They had a demo that just disappeared when, when the full game came out. And people made the argument that, like, oh, it's because the demo was different from how the main game played out. But honestly, I think that's kind of good. Where, like, even if you played the demo, you have a reason to play the opening of the game again, and it's not just repeating the same thing twice over. Store that. Actually, hang on. Goodness me. Oh, shit. What? Hang on. Oh, it's high-grade gunpowder. I thought it was... The big gunpowder. Damn, if only I knew how to read, this could have been so easily avoided. The game has exploited my mortal weakness. Alright, now we can head back over. Monument, simple lock, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still need to hold off on all of those until I get the lock pick. There's a uh, bullets on the seat here. Yeah, there we go. So maybe I didn't need to craft any extra ones after all. Damn. Oh well. All right, now we get to head back through here, and that means I get to go hang out with Evil Man Von Evil Stein Nikolai. Coming through. Do you have any fave knockoff games like RE? Um, I know it's a bit disingenuous to refer to it as one, but Signalis would probably be my favorite, like, classic Resident Evil-inspired game. What the fuck? 
There we go, we have the absolute cartoon character that is Nikolai in this game, man. Like, bro. Yeah, I ain't reading all that, homeboy. Alright, time to time to get through and deal with uh the power station. I think there's more bullets over here. Yeah. Oh, there's another training log. Oh, it's a suicide note. How nice. And then we get to deal with the, the dogs. The dogs that are around here. Right, that was a relatively... Relatively clean... Dog segment. Used to use Nikolai for the RE3 mercenary runs. I don't think I ever played mercenaries in original RE3. Yeah. Alright. Let's keep going. Yeah, because that was another thing they caught from the RE3 remake, was for whatever reason, this version of the game doesn't have... Mercenaries? Jeez. Oh! Oh, I went for the fucking Alan Wake 2 dodge instead of the fucking RE3 remake dodge. I'm an idiot. I went for the left bumper instead of the right bumper. That was entirely my fault. That chomp did a lot of damage as well. That's like half my health I've just lost right there. Oh, good. My, my favorite box. Nothing. I'm actually running surprisingly low on green herbs for how... Like, early on in the game I am right now, I don't really want to have to use a, a mixed herb to heal such a small amount of damage. I should actually bring a uh, first aid spray and some shells with me if I'm going to be dealing with the, the drain demos in a minute. Those guys can get a bit, a bit annoying. Yeah, there we go. There's the green herbs. And then we get the lockpick. I am in standard at the moment. I did not make the choice to put this one on hard because I don't remember how hardcore or how hard hardcore actually was. Disgusting! Open that bitch up. A lockpick. A more bullets. How many have I got? Forty-three. Nice. Yeah, I remember the the difficulty levels of um, RE three remake being like actually challenging as you started cranking them further and further up. Ah. All right, here we go. We get one of the funniest fucking cutscenes in the entire series at this point here. So Jill has this happen to her, right? Doesn't cough, doesn't gag, doesn't vomit after having like fucking 13 inches of tongue stuffed down her mouth. That canonically Jill's head game must be impeccable.
They fucking run it at the lower animation to try and save resources at that distance. That's really fucking funny. They also made uh, the Deimos way less terrifying in this game. They made them like foot long spider creatures in, in this instead of being like the seven feet tall like bipedal man spiders they were in the original game. I don't know why they went with that as a choice. I think they were way more terrifying in the original where they would be up on their hind legs and would just start fucking sprinting at you. Ow. Christ, I'm very, very popular in this corner by myself today. Did you get spooked by the spiders? Man, like, maybe I shouldn't have taken the samurai edge with me. Oh god, not again. Do you know, I've actually never never had that happen to me while while I've been in here. For whatever reason, whenever I've played the game beforehand, um they only ever seem to attack me. I, I never get like the the oral impregnation animation to, to occur a second time. So that's that's wild. I had two deaths on the tyrant fight, despite never having died on that before in, in RE2 yesterday. And now I'm getting uh mouth sexed repeatedly by spiders which is also a thing that never usually happens it has been quite the learning process of new experiences these past few days i don't like any of them i wish to go back to the old ways it was ow you big fucking meanies christ how many of you assholes are there here today I don't ever remember there being this many of them in here on standard mode. Alright, time to leave. Uh, ah. You fucking asshole. Alright, let's get out of here. Time to time to cook some, some spider stir fry real quick. Matt, you can tell Jill's already been through the ringer so badly at this point. Like, she had fucking two impregnations, two abortions in the span of five minutes in that motherfucker. And bat an eye. Brushes it off, wipes the sweat off. Let's keep going. Another day at the office. Let's go. This woman is hard as nails. Nothing phases her. Oh, I've, let me look at that again. What was the name of that knife? Yeah, that is a really unfortunate name for that. Jesus. All right, let's 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 save. Carlos, it's hey, Carlos. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. Poor Carlos. He's, he's just trying to make friends. Alright. Where's, uh, where's Nemi-chan kicking about at? Hey, what's up, big guy? You know, I used to be a lot better at dodging that. <laughs> okay, so this isn't the segment where he... Hey! I actually managed to pull that off. It's 
surprised I managed to do it twice in a row. Oh, dude, he hit me once, and I'm literally three feet in the grave at this point. I need to hurry up and make sure that I don't mix too hard with Nemesis so he makes I get to keep my innards as innards and not outards. Hey, just what the doctor ordered. Um, right, how much? Fuck. Do you know, I will keep it on hand until he shows up and tries to beat my face in again. But I will take these and make sure they operate as a Nemesis' worst friend. What do you mean there are more of you? Alright, Speedy Gonzalez over here deciding to uh, take no prisoners. Alright, Nemesis, try this on for size. Oh, would you look at that? Fits perfectly. You know, I was actually uh, caught kind of off guard in, in my playthrough when I, I downed Nemesis like the first time and he dropped an item here because they actually removed that feature from Mr. X in the RE2 remake uh, in the original game. If you downed him during like whenever he would show up, he would usually drop items and, and ammo for you as like a reward for killing him. But here he doesn't he doesn't do that anymore. So I was, I was caught a bit off guard when I, I shot him a couple of times and he dropped and then the case came flying out at, in the remake. Alright, yeah, there's this. Oh, sick, another hand grenade. Alright, his theme's disappeared, so I'm going to assume Nemesis has gone for a lie down. Oh wait, no, it's still there. I am running really low on ammo at the moment. Hang on a second, I'm going to head... You're not supposed to be back here that early! Ow, Nemesis, can can you give me, like, can you give me just, bro, homeboy. I was stun-locked the entire time. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the major things that I've always said. Uh, people gas up Mr. X uh, as, like, the, the genuinely, like, scary, dangerous one that'll come for your ass. I've never understood that. Nemesis in, like, two playthroughs killed me more times than Mr. X has done in... Five years of the RE2 remake being out because he's killed me once and it wasn't even him that did it. He got me killed by another zombie. I need my ammo. Yeah, Nemesis in this game does not fuck about. Uh... Alright, there we go. I was not expecting him to show up here. He caught me completely off fucking guard. Oh yeah, no, dude. I hate Mr. X's hat with like a burning passion. I think it's so dumb. I've heard so many, like, copes and justifications for it where they're like, oh no, see, he wears the helmet because it helps him blend in and make him look more human. As if, like, some giant 12-foot-tall fucking guy in a leather trench coat who's bald and has skin that looks like a scroll cover isn't suddenly going to be noticeable from a mile away if he's wearing a hat. Alright, let's have a look. What do I need? I need... 
Redstone Street. Uh, Raccoon Central. And then the changeover to St. Michael. So... Redstone to Faust Avenue. So I think that should be four, and then rack. Oh wait, no, hang on a minute. That should be two, rack four, and then Saint. So it should be S. ST, I think, should be. ST. Two? Unable to establish okay, it needs to be three. Try again. So, Forced Avenue. Three. And then... Oh, what? Did I... Huh? Oh, no, I, I fucked up. That was, that was the wrong one, too. And then that needs to be three, right? Three, and then St. Michael's needs to be SA2. It's a good job Nemesis is nice and fucking patient, just like waiting for you to finish this before you before he comes in and kicks your ass. Forced four. I don't know why I keep changing forced. I, I should just leave that one alone. Okay, so that needs to be changed to Raccoon 3. Hey! Yeah, this is one of the, the funny things when I, I hear people be like, Oh man, RE4 and 5 were like, you know, step downs and steps away from the series core route because they cut out all the puzzles and didn't really have anything in them. Good. Fuck puzzles. I hate them. Yeah, there's the, uh, the bootleg Las Plagas things that didn't exist in the original Resident Evil 3 that they added almost definitely just to test out AI tech for the Ganados in RE, RE4 Remake. Alright, I'm still on no health, so I need to be very, very careful. I will try my hardest to not get stun locked by Nemesis again. Ugh. Yeah, in my perfect world when it comes to Resident Evil games, they just don't have puzzles and focus entirely on like Metroidvania item collection and or combat. Hi Nemesis! Have that, thank you. Oh, he drops another one. Yay! He sounds very upset at the moment. Where am I going back to? Oh, I need to go back to the, uh... Uh, I keep wanting to call it the clock tower, but it's not. It's the train station. Pew, 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 pew. That was a bit of a preemptive one. I'm really, really surprised it gave me that, though. But I told you, man, before you do a dodge in this game, you want to hold, hold the gun up and then dodge because it, for some reason, gives you more frames for a perfect dodge. I have no idea why, but that's just the way that it works. Oh, right, hang on. 
all me nose itches. Oh shit, wait, I've just realized. I never... I never got... I never opened the toy store. Fuck. Oh well. I'm sure there was nothing of great importance in there anyway. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah, mostly. But we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai. How are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? What accent is this man supposed to be doing? Had time to start getting dead weight though. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. He keeps slipping from like Russian into like killed. Eastern European. It's really weird. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worried. I think the most unbelievable thing about this game is that it genuinely expects me to believe Carlos in it is 21 years old. Merry Christmas, Nemi. And a happy new year. Okay, so that should be him out for the count for the next, like, seven to ten business days. So let's pick up everything. Fuck! He dropped another supply case. Sorry, buddy. I need to thank you. Excellent. I appreciate the gifts. All right, now let's go back. I'm out of grenades, so if he gets up and tries to, like, cha-cha slide with me again, I am in uh, an innumerable amount of trouble. Come on, Jill. From the hip. Oh, that. That works, too. Time to go. Phenomenal choice of camera angle there, boys. 100% necessary for that one. Alright, time to go into the sewer level. We are 73 minutes in, and I think we are officially at the halfway point of the game, boys. Be gone with ye, Nemesis. Yeah, to be fair, like, dead ass. Jill should have been able to huff that off uh, in half a second if she's going to be benching plasma cannons and rail cannons later on. I'm out right. the area. Perfect. Very nice of them to just conveniently leave that in the sewers. All right, let me check my supply case. What's in this one? Steel boys. All right, that means Nemesis is officially out of giving me good items. Let me get all the stuff for the for the handgun actually. Let me let me mod that. Yeah, you know your handgun's a beast when it makes you uh take up two inventory slots. So yeah, I'll put the samurai edge back in now and Swap over to this as the primary. Oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need those. Because I screwed up and didn't didn't use all of them. Bring some shells. Actually organize that properly. Put you away. Uh... I suppose I'll waste. Waste a couple of heals. Getting back up to strength. And now we get to do the poo-poo stinky sewer segment. Oh, there we go. There's a hip thing. Inventory expansion. I know words. That was some bullshit that we're going to have to deal with, Jill. But don't you worry about it. Oh, God. I'm definitely burning. 
which was a lie because she would go on to keep them for like the next 30 years, which is why she's wearing them in Death Island. Alright, you have to be careful trying to ride the lightning on this one. I thought if you threw a fucking grenade in its mouth, it would eat it. Maybe it does and I just messed it up. Also, damn, it's fucking cold in here. Hang on, I'm gonna stick a jacket on. Alright, there we go. Ugh. Nice and warm. Ah, sick, another save area. That's the explosive. That's for Jill's uh, rocket launcher thing that she gets. Speak of the devil, there you are. If I can remember what buttons do what, that'll be great. Is that everything? I think that's everything. This will be the thing that tells me how to combine them, won't it? No? Okay. Five degrees in Toronto. Yeah, probably. Uh, I think it's like... I don't know, is that in... Celsius or Fahrenheit? Minuses? Oh yeah, you definitely got me beat on that one. Alright, where the fuck do I go from here? Right, time to swing around. <gasps> Big guy. Hey, you cheated. You weren't supposed to not get staggered by that. I do kind of like, is it the beta hunters? These are the gamma hunters, aren't they? Yeah, the gamma hunters I quite like. I, I think the mechanic of needing to get close to them, uh, to like bait them into doing their big one-shot attack as the most effective way to damage them is a pretty cool mechanic. I like having to uh, run the risk for maximum performance. I think it's pretty cool, not gonna lie. Ugh. <laughs> Oh, goody, another one. Damn it! Alright, sick. That's another one of the Gamma Hunters down. There's something to pick up. Oh, yeah, flame rounds. Yeah, those things absolutely fucking wreck the Gamma Hunters. I should have kept the lock pick on me. Is there a save in here? No? Okay. I'm gonna have to go back to that save room because I need to wrap it up for the night. Oh, dude, I don't have time for this. I need to save. Alright, here we go. Alright, stick in here, and then I'm gonna... Where's the save thing? Save? There you are. Alright, yeah, that's that's where we're gonna wrap up for tonight. I'm gonna do a short intro, because I do need to go. But uh, I will see you guys tomorrow to continue this. I hope you've all enjoyed. I want to thank you for coming, and I will see you guys next time. 
Bye! Let me, let me cue the music up. Yeah, there we go.